Hey everybody, welcome to the Bedhead Blog. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for going to channelchris.com to appreciate it. And if you uh, if you watched the blog yesterday, we were talking about smoking, and sure enough, <coughs> I'm sick. I know it was uh, exasperated by this like smoking thing. Oof! Don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. Anyway. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about today was this crazy dream that I had, and a lot of you know that I have these certain dreams that are bizarre. Um, they're different than my regular dreams, and whenever I have one, um, it's just they, they, they come true every time. And usually it's like trivial stuff, it's no big deal. But it's still weird that you, like, you have this dream and then it comes true. And last night I had this dream, I gotta tell you, um, it's the weirdest dream I ever had. And uh, it was about President Bush. And, and you're, just, you're just not going to believe this. So I'm just, you know, I'm sound asleep out cold. And I start dreaming that President Bush is in the Oval Office. And he's doing like a farewell address to the nation type thing. It's like televised. And, <clears throat> and there he is, President Bush. And he's got this, you know, smirky, cocky look on his face. And he says something along the lines of... Um, uh, you know, here at the end of my term, I just, uh, I just have one person I want to thank, and I just want to, I want to thank the president, myself, for being one of the best presidents, <laughs> uh, probably ever, probably the best president ever, and, uh, it comes as no surprise because I was the best president of Texas, <laughs> you know, so, no surprise to me, in fact, if I ever become president of another country, I'll probably be the best president they ever had. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a guarantee. It's a Texas guarantee. <laughs> so I want to thank the president, myself, for being the uh, best president ever. And uh, so I had this like, you know, dream. And then, and I'm freaking out because like, I'm thinking to myself, uh, yeah, you're like the worst president ever. And then my cell phone rings, right? And it's in the middle of the night. One of my like jackass friends from LA who you know doesn't respect the time difference to the East Coast calls me drunk out of his mind and wakes me out of this dream. And this like dream was like I was I swear I was I was just about to find out who was the next president. And in those kind of dreams, I mean they come true. So I was like this close to finding out who was gonna be the next president. I was so pissed off that my friend called and wake me up. Anyway, so I guess basically we're now we're going to have to wait until the actual election. Um, that's all I got. You know, later, USA.